LA United Fan TV, 1-0 loss to FC Cincy. Not the result at all that we wanted. And yeah, a performance that really lacked in a lot of areas. And uh, yeah, at the end of the day, we look to be on uh, the way out of this tournament if we don't get our act together against Columbus Crew. What are your thoughts on this, Tommy? Uh, it was rough. Um, from the refereeing um, to the both the yellow cards from Mulraney, um, it was just all downhill. As soon as, as soon as we got the the red card, I, I knew they were going to be in trouble. I already had trouble getting uh, you know passes together. Um, I mean, it, it just it didn't look fluent the entire game. Right. Yeah. I mean, no shots really from either team until about maybe the twentieth minute. Uh, it's uh, yeah. I mean. <laughs> The lineup it looks a little bit better uh, from the off. You know, maybe it looks like there's a bit of a game plan. Uh, but, you know, did it really perform for you? Was there anything that uh, surprised you in the lineup as well? I mean, yeah, what, what were your thoughts going in? Um, my only concern about the lineup um, was Bello not being there. Um, I just saw from Frank DeBoer uh, in his press conference say that he's playing on, uh, they plan on starting him for Columbus, but. I don't know if there's a reason not to have him um, available in case he was needed. And I think he was needed, um, especially after the, after the red, um, I probably would have brought him in for that. Um, someone to push forward because we really didn't have uh, much fluent play after, and it's hard being a man down, but I think you definitely needed him there. Yeah, no, definitely. Definitely. Um, yeah. Well, in terms of, uh, you know, the actual play on the pitch, uh, it seemed like, you know, again, lack of fluidity, lack of continuity between uh, players that, yeah, maybe haven't really played a ton of competitive minutes uh, on the pitch together. But, uh, I mean, you know, there is maybe a little bit more continuity for other teams, uh, possibly, but uh, really there shouldn't be any excuses, um, you know, in terms of how Atlanta looked. Um, is, there, is there a way forward? Is there a way that uh, you would like to see, you know, FDB kind of, set us up so that we don't maybe look uh, the way we do currently. You know, I don't know if they're going to be able to do anything in the, you know, in this last game for the tournament. I mean, if you have a potential, I mean, you already got one sign with Dom and a potential with Eric Lopez, but I, I don't know if you're going to be able to get anything up now. I thought that this roster was going to be play much better um, because there have been players that played together, getting Lorenowitz and Rometty. I mean, those guys have had a lot of game time together. Um, the midfield still looked out of sync. Um, really, there, there didn't seem like there was a game plan um, besides, you know, some crosses and, and pray uh, some know, hopes. hopefully score a goal there. There was really nothing that was there that was really seemed like uh, we were actually going to score. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, and uh, Frankie Amaya, he, uh, he gets a goal, a pretty decent goal. Uh, I would argue maybe that uh, Guzan... Uh, arguably could have maybe got a fingertip on it, but uh, it seems like shots from distance, at least against FC Cincy as well, uh, has been a little bit of an Achilles heel. Uh, last, uh, you know, early in March, uh, Kubo hit one from distance against Guzan as well. Uh, it seems like maybe, you know, is there a book on uh, Guzan that, uh, you know, maybe you can hit it from distance and you might have a chance? I mean... You know, you funny you say that. I had a flashback of that goal to the the game winner uh, with Toronto in the conference finals. Sure. Um, I mean, that was still in the in the same area, and you know, it. it I, I guarantee if you put those two plays right next to each other, it, they're similarly in the same spot. Um, and yeah, I I just had a terrible flashback as soon as that went in. Yeah, never uh, never good to think about uh, that one for sure. That that one, I think most of all. Uh, in the playoffs has been uh, something that's haunting us. Uh, so, yeah, in terms of uh, moving forward then, in terms of Columbus Crew, uh, and in terms of Elmos is back, are we out of the tournament? I think so. Um, I mean, seeing Columbus and how they played that first game, I mean, we'll see tonight um, how that game goes. But they, they look like they have it together. Um, and our midfield is still having a lot of problems. I thought the defense looked a little bit better today. Um, but if our midfield doesn't get it together by that game, I think we're going to get torched. Um, you know, they're going to have to figure something out. I don't know if there's, you know, if there's any signings coming in for the midfield. Um, but I think it's just going to be, you know, hopefully there's more games after this tournament um, and we can continue, you know, trying to build up that midfield. But uh, I don't I don't see good things, unfortunately, coming from from the crew. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it, Tommy. Thank you so much for the time. And we'll chat with you later.